Welcome back to another rousing rendition of Robbie's Reviews Day Tuesday. I am Robbie, and I am up here deep within the bosom of Mesa Boogie Corner with world-famous pro audio engineer and resident Hubert Breeze authority on all things guitar, bass. Don't forget world class. World class. <clears throat> um, all that stuff. The legendary Mike Edmund, and we are here today to talk about Tom Anderson Guitar Works. Mike, what do you know about that? Well, let's get the important stuff out of the way. Uh, I am rocking great hair today. I have the appropriate one-day stubble show off, which chicks dig. I went shopping in Robbie's closet this morning. I found a shirt. I'm good to go. Feeling good today. It's going to be a great day. Uh, best guitar I've ever owned, played, seen, felt, heard. <clears throat> this is a common rhetoric uh, from Anderson players around the globe, uh, certainly from those that I have personally uh, sold them to. It's a rarity that you sell a piece of gear in this industry and, uh, and you get a phone call back from somebody who's not complaining about it. Uh, there's something wrong with it. It doesn't do what I thought it was going to do. I get feedback from... Anderson guitar buyers all the time within days telling me that uh, Thanking me for turning them on to this in the first place And then of course telling me this is the best guitar I've ever played the best guitar I've ever owned um, A true testament to, to what we're getting ready to get into here today Anderson guitar works does not have a custom shop. They are in fact a custom shop every guitar is uh, thought through from the ground up uh, and put together to a certain specification, whether it's specified uh, by myself or the artist that comes into the shop and wants to put together one of his own. Fashion this one after uh, a 60s T-type guitar that is going to be, uh, you know, to the point. Um, I think of myself as kind of an old punk with an attitude and that's what I wanted to build here. I wanted to build a guitar that would serve an old punk with an attitude. So there's plenty of attitude going on here. Very throaty, very pronounced, very pushed forward and in your face. Mellowing slightly, of course. Even though it's typified, uh, I felt that I could play on all night long, moving from country music to rock music to something even a little bit heavier. But I love its, I love the attitude of this guitar. It's, it's rude, it, it's aggressive, and that's exactly uh, what I was after here. Without going into great detail, um, you're tuning these guitars a little more like you might tune a piano with the idea being that the, the note values are essentially the same as you move up and down the neck. So it's as close to perfect intonation as anybody's ever been able to achieve. It's a very simple process if you know what you're doing with it. Uh, they, they move the nut a little bit closer to the first fret and intonate it in a particular fashion to come up with near perfect intonation and you can hear this the first time you pick up the guitar and tune it and move your hands up and down the neck playing in different positions there's no doubt that there's something special going on there this is the anderson s icon in distress level two in shoreline gold uh, so you get with this wiring configuration, basically you get a, a regular SSS or you get an HSS and you get both of those with either a standard five-way switch or basically a super switch with the middle position being neck and bridge. Correct. So position one 
Easy. Pump bucket, right? And certainly we can turn this into with this push push switch and this can be done with a mini toggle switching via push pull for me it's a I just like to push I don't want to pull up on a and it's, it's, uh, it's under the hood so now I've got a, a, a single coil in the back which again is just from the one pickup alone we move into uh, <clears throat> if we tap this back pickup here and move into position four for some people two for other people and we've got very smooth eloquent quiet single tones attitude and a little smoother S type attitude at the same time. This is where, you know, some of the magic lies. Uh, we'll credit Roy Fott with uh, the electronic designs that go into these guitars. Very crafty devil, this guy, and certainly my partner in crime at Anderson Guitar Works. Hats off. Um, so in the middle position, we have our typical middle pickup. <laughs> pick up as it sits right now. And again, I can turn this into a single coil. Position two, what you think it is, these two pickups together. pickup so as we listen to the front pickup bringing in a little bit more F style attitude uh, and very noticeable change from this Thanks for watching another episode of Rabbi's Reviews Day Tuesday. Special thanks to our guest this week, world-renowned Michael class. Edmund. World-class. <laughs> Great hair. Special thanks to our production crew, Eric. And uh, if you're interested in anything, Tom Anderson or Mesa Boogie or anything else, give Rabbi or Michael a call here at the shop. We're here to help. See you next week.